in 1874, at least one Lambton community had a bylaw prohibiting fence hopping for all livestock from geese to stallions. Wyoming's birth and early growth came about as a result of the Great Western Railway Line between Sarnia and London, with the development about 1856 of Wyoming as a railway station and as a shipping point for oil. By 1874, the combination of the railway and oil in Oil Springs to the south led to a village of about 1,000 population. Today we have bylaws, fines, and animal pounds to control wandering pets. A local precursor to these controls over pets was a bylaw passed almost 130 years ago in the village of Wyoming, aimed at fence hopping livestock who might be found wandering the countryside. Bylaw number three, passed in February of 1874, regulated the duties of pound keepers, impounding of cattle, and the height of lawful fences. Up until the passing of this act, horses, hogs, geese, and poultry could roam the streets unmolested and had free pasture in the village. Following the passing of this act, Wyoming residents who allowed livestock to fence jump could find themselves facing fines, the cost of impounding the livestock, cost of the poundskeeper, and perhaps court costs. For some reason, what was defined as neat or domesticated cattle were not included. The act stated that all neat cattle shall have right to free commonage within this community, excepting bulls, stags, and broachy cattle. Now broachy cattle were fence hopping cattle. Perhaps the neat cattle allowed free commonage did not know how to, or did not want to, jump fences. The act goes on to state that no horse, mare, colt, goat, ram, pig, or poultry shall have right to free commonage, and if found running free at large may be impounded subject to the following fines. A stallion over one year old, four dollars. A gelding mare or colt, fifty cents. A bull or stag over one year old, three dollars. A boar over two months old, or a ram or a goat, two dollars. A pig only fifty cents and geese and poultry 12 and a half cents. As well, the pound keeper could charge up to 25 cents a day for feed and caring of the animals and poultry. The act also clearly defined the duties of the pound keeper, who could be fined up to $20 if he neglected to impound breachy livestock. As well, any person who assisted in lawful manner and conveying animals to pound, could receive for his services half of the fine assessed by the municipality. Any person who interfered with the removal of animals to the pound could also be subject to a fine of $5.